In this video, I'm gonna give you some of the best ideas from the book You're a Badass by Jen Sincero, and then we're gonna talk about how do you actually implement these ideas into your life. It's a pretty good book, I think you're gonna love it, so let's do it. Author Jen Sincero was once not totally impressed with her own life. Although she had a healthy family, was a published author and had enough friends to go around, she was constantly wondering, is this the best that I can do? This question was nagging her so much that she embarked on a somewhat prolific self-improvement journey. She poured over all the self-help books and courses she could get her hands on, the good, the bad and the ugly. Eventually, she found success, yay! So she decided to take every bit of self-improvement wisdom that helped her and share it in her now best-selling book, You Are a Badass. Let's dig into it so you can be on your own way to total badassery. The book is split into five neat chunks or steps if you will. One is how you got this way. Two, how to embrace your inner badass. Three, how to tap into the mother load. Four, how to get over your BS already. And five, how to kick some ass. And don't worry, you won't be kicking anybody asses really other than maybe some insecurities and doubts. Let's get into the nitty gritty now. One, how you got this way. This step is all about understanding the deep-seated beliefs that you have that might be holding you back. As we all know, there are two major parts of the brain. The conscious, the one that you are, or at least it should be, totally in control of, and the subconscious. The subconscious is where most of the nasty holdbacks reside. The doubts, the insecurities, the negative self-image, the ego, and the potential self-loading. You know, all the stuff that keeps you awake at night. These are things that you need to bring up to the surface first before you can challenge them and eliminate them. You need to first become aware of them. Then with the help of being present, aka living in the moment and not giving too much thought to the past or future and connecting yourself to a higher energy, whether that's God, universe, a mothership, whatever floats your boat, you can start correcting your self-perception into that of a total badass. Number two, how to embrace your inner badass. To become your best version and to free yourself of any insecurities, you first need to accept yourself. When you truly love who you are, you're free to live a rich and authentic life. Start by appreciating how truly unique you are in the billions of people who live right now and at least that many they've lived before you, there's never been anyone exactly like you. Take your uniqueness as a gift and march forward. On top of that, add a layer of not caring what other people think. The fear of being judged and not accepted is holding you back from getting outside of your comfort zone. Only by breaking away from that fear can you become the most powerful self. And it's not easy, I get it, but here's how you can do it. Don't get caught up in the criticism, but also don't accept the praise. You have to establish what is true for you, outside of anyone else's opinion, good or bad. You should become the only person whose opinion about yourself matters. Number three, how to tap into the mother load. The mother load of what you might be asking. Some call it God, some call it the universe or mother earth. You might call it faith, serendipity or Aunt Betsy. The name doesn't really matter. It's that abundant invisible energy that is everywhere around you. The author calls it the source energy. And before you shut down the video for becoming way too new age, let's dig into the more practical side. Source energy is nothing more than mindfulness really. Being able to become aware of your subconscious mind, control your attention and thoughts and generally put your mind at ease. How do you do that? It all starts with meditation. If you're already experienced, you know exactly what to do. If you've never tried it before, start by sitting up straight in a comfortable position, close your eyes, release any thoughts that come into your brain and focus on your breathing. The goal is to keep your mind as clear as possible so you can connect to that source energy. Another tactic that the author suggests is to become in charge of your own thoughts. Your thoughts dictate your reality after all, so keep them directed towards your goal instead of towards the obstacles. And for that extra credit in Source Energy 101, try these three tactics. Number one, Get in touch with your younger self, you know, the long forgotten person who feared nothing and had big goals and dreams. Number two, form a habit of gratitude and forgiveness. When you're holding on to some sort of resentment towards somebody else, 
you're not concentrating on yourself. So let that negativity melt away and concentrate on gratitude instead. Even try even listing 10 things to be thankful for every single day. And tactic number three, giving and receiving. If you want to attract good energy, you must send good energy first. So pick up a good cause or two and donate your time or money towards. Leave a dollar more than what you normally tip. Smile, compliment people, make them laugh. In other words, pay it forward. Now that you've tapped into the mother load of source energy, let's continue to step number four. And that is how to get over your BS. And much like the rest of the book, this step is about letting go of your old stories. Stop focusing on the negative, the self-limiting stories that might be framing your reality and realize that you can create any reality that you want. In the same fashion, stop procrastinating. You know what you need to do, so go ahead and do it. Procrastination is nothing more than an easy form of self-sabotage. Instead of putting a ton of energy into coming up with excuses of why something cannot be done, put that energy into doing it instead. Next, let go of the common overall excuses such as there is not enough time, there is too much to do, or I'm exhausted. Control your time and energy better and you'll find that those were just neat excuses that somehow you came up with somewhere along the way. Finally, get rid of the fear. The fear of moving forward and getting outside of your comfort zone. If necessary, look at the past. Mostly everything that you were afraid might happen never actually happened. Or try a different perspective, pinpoint what you're really afraid of and then flip it around and make it work for you. And finally, step number five, how to kick some ass. You're almost a total badass at this point, but let's take you to another level. Start by deciding. Deciding to go for your goals, deciding to stop listening to your excuses, decide to change your habits and to learn to stay the course. And while you're at it, decide to change your relationship with money. Many people have a totally negative relationship with money, but not you. At least not going forward. Focus on abundance and put yourself in the best shape to manifest money into your life. And finally, surrendering. This goes back to the source energy part of the book. Sometimes, even when you want something so badly that you work tirelessly to achieve it, things might not work out or at least might not work out as fast as you want them. So, what should you do? Surrender. Let the universe or whatever higher power you believe in to do the job. Surrendering is not about giving up, but about having faith that your deepest desires and goals will eventually come into your life. And if that sounds a little bit out there for some, it's because it is. But it goes back to the ultimate premise of the book. The only way to become a real badass, to stop doubting your greatness and to start living an awesome life is to believe that you're a badass already. Hey, hey, welcome back. Now, how do you actually implement all these ideas? Because you see, it's a, it's a rather tiny book, but it has a lot of ideas as we already covered in the summary. So instead of overwhelming yourself and putting them all to use at the same time, pick one idea. Whatever resonates with you the most, whether that's meditation, fixing your relationship with money, getting rid of insecurities, whatever resonated and appealed to you the most, pick that idea, implement it. And keep in mind that these are not these are not ideas that you can implement in just one day and then tomorrow you wake up and you're like, yes, I like it, I don't like it. These are, these are skills that are going to take you a considerable amount of time. So patience needs to be baked in into the process. But pick one idea that works for you the most implement it and see how it goes. Once you've mastered that, or at least you're on your way to mastering, then come back, watch the summary again, or pick up a copy of the book and then implement a second idea. The whole idea is one idea at a time because there's probably hundreds of ideas. If you try to implement the same time, one is not gonna work out, the other one is gonna work out, but the thing is you're gonna be overwhelmed. And the goal of all this is to simplify your life and become a badass. And if you're overwhelmed, that's not possible. One idea, at a time, work your way through it and be patient. It takes work, but it's worth it because you're gonna discover your inner badass. And if you want more videos such as this one, reviewing some of the best books in motivation, in self-help, in becoming a badass, click on the link below and join the family. Subscribe today. I put out two new videos for two new books every single week, getting the best ideas from the best books and then showing you how to implement them. It's a fun process for me. I hope you join me on my journey. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. 
Have an amazing day. Now go become a badass.